In this video, I'm going to teach you to do two things. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to change a formula into the actual value. And this will be good for you in case you have lots of formulas, if they're getting a little bit complicated, and you just want to have values, the actual values. You don't need the formulas anymore. You just want the values. It'll keep it simple, and it will help help you stay sane, especially when you have a lot of worksheets. On the other hand, I will teach you how to change from a relative reference to an absolute reference when you have to do it to a lot of cells. So let's get started. Here I have a spreadsheet. Now you're obviously familiar with this. This one is a very simple example. This is hours worked and we have five people, five employees, and they work throughout the week. As you can tell, these are just values of the number of hours they worked. This is a formula in which it's a, it's the sum of, in this case, Adam, of all the hours that he worked throughout the week. As you can tell, he didn't come on Saturday. So I'm just adding up all these numbers to get the amount of hours that he worked in the week. Now, down here, I have the total hours per day. I have 39 hours on Monday from all employees, 42, etc. And I also have these formulas down here. Total hours for the weekday, which is only, um, it only adds up Monday through Friday. Total hours for the weekend, which adds Saturday and Sunday. Hours of the full week adds weekdays and weekend. I could have also taken the values from all here, but I thought it'd be easier to do it from here. The total hours for male employees, okay, so here I take Adam, Charlie, and Emilio, and total hours female employees, and here I take Betty and Donna. Okay, so down here I have um, employee salary, commission earned, and the base salary of how much they're making. Two of them are on minimum wage, unfortunately. Um, the commission they earned, if any, and the total of money owed. So salary and commission, I should know. The money owed is the sum. And to keep this example, um, to keep this example helpful, what I did is an easier way. There's an easier way to make this formula, but in this case, I'm um, I grabbed the number of hours that the employee worked, um, multiply those by the salary, and then add the commission earned. And you'll see why this is important. Okay, so probably by now you know how to um, change the formulas to values, right? And if you don't, it's very simple. Let's grab this example right here and say that you don't need this formula anymore. You don't want this to be the sum of B3 to F7. You just want 190. Well, one thing you can do is just type in 190, enter. But of course, that is not very helpful because you want to do it quickly, especially if you have long numbers. So something you can do to make it quickly is just type in F2 to edit the formula, and you're just going to click F9, and it should change it. I can't really show you because the program I'm using to capture, um, the program I use to capture the screen actually has F9 mapped to a function within the program, so it's not doing anything on Excel, but just believe me, try it out on your own if you don't believe me. Just go F2 on the formula and then F9, and it should change it from the formula. It should look like that like that 190 and you can do it to formula so you just go f2 to edit formula and then f9 and it should change it uh, I just undid what I had done if you want to do it to more than one and this happens to me a lot of times I want to change from formula to values but I want to do it on more than just one occasion what you can do uh, it's run a, uh, a macro or um, a visual basic uh, program but that can get complicated. I, the easiest way for me to do it is just grab the formulas that I want to do, copy them, and then you're going to paste them at the same spot. So right click and then just choose values. And that will automatically change them all from the formula to the actual values without having to do one by one. Let's undo that. Again, just click the formulas you want. Let's do it with this one, this, this part right here. Copy or control C. Then on the first one, right click, paste, values. Or you can also go paste special in case you have a, a previous version of Excel and then just click values. And it doesn't change, it shouldn't change anything. We're just 
placing the values instead of the formulas. Okay? Now, you also know that it's it's important that you know how to change from relative values to absolute values. What relative values look like is this. Okay? Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, if you only want to change a part of the formula into the actual value, what you have to do is select that part of the formula and then you type in F9. And again, it's not going to let me do it because F9 is mapped to Camtasia, so it's not letting me do it. But if you just select this part, it will change this part to the number from the formula and leave the rest of the formula intact. So that should work out for you. Just believe me or go ahead and check it on your own system because I can't show you since I have the screen capture program running. Okay, so that does it for that part. Now, the second part, I'm going to, ch uh, I'm going to show you how to change it from uh, absolute to relative. Now, most of you know how to do this. If you have a formula like this, all you have to do is click on the part that you want to make um, absolute and type in F4. And that little money sign, the dollar sign, actually means that it's an absolute number. If you do it again, it's just the absolute row. And once more, it's just the absolute column. Okay, and then it goes back to relative. The problem with this is doing it for a lot, a lot of these. Okay, so what, what I usually do, there's no simple answer for this. Uh, again, you can run scripts, but those, those can get complicated. The way I solve this problem, which might or might not work for you, is looking specifically at the columns that I have. All right, so say that I have columns with J. Okay, I have J, F, and G. Those are the columns that I'm using, J, F, and G, J, F, and G. J, F, and G, and J, F, and G for all of them. So instead of doing, say that I want to change all these cases to absolute numbers, okay? And I don't want to go one by one because, again, I could just go F4, F4, F4. But that's not the point. I have a lot of them. I Say that I have thousands of these. I could not do it for thousands. So what I do is I select the formulas that I want to change and go Control F or find replace and here in the dialog box what we're gonna do is look at a part of a formula that we can change in this case we are going to look for J okay and what we're going to do is change it to dollar sign J dollar sign and what that is going to do is replace all the J's for dollar sign J dollar sign and that it will automatically change those values to absolute values. Again, it should not change the formula itself, the value of the formula. We're changing the formula, not the output. So then we go replace all. It says it made five replacements, one, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, it did not change anything. We click OK. Now we go check them. As you can tell, now the formula is absolute. We do the same thing for F, F, and then dollar sign, F dollar sign, replace them all, and again nothing changed, and then for G we do the same thing, replace all. And now we have absolute cells instead of absolute references instead of relative references. And that's how I usually solve the problem and so far at least the way I work, it has worked for me. So there you go. I hope I hope this was useful to you. If you know of, of a script or something that's easy, because I looked at I looked at a lot of scripts that are actually very complex or they involve applying macros. And I think to most people, uh, like me, I know how to use scripts and I know how to use macros, but sometimes I just want a simpler answer. I don't want to go into macros to do something simple like this, but I also don't want to change them one by one. So this actually works for me. So if anyone knows of any other way, I'd be glad to hear how you can do it, changing from uh, relative to absolute. But I think this is the only option I have found to work without using scripts or macros. I hope you learned something today. All right. Have a great day.